Kids' lesson is on further percents, and it covers page 19 in your 7.2 book. So, for further percents, they're going to show us two steps to find the percent. So, the first step is we're looking at the fact that 35% is the same thing as 35 out of 100. So, to find 35%, we're going to find 35 out of 100. And what this means when we have a fraction like this is that 35 out of 100 is the same thing as multiplying by 35 and then dividing by 100. Does that make sense? So that's going to be our first step. So the first step is that you multiply by the numerator. And so we have 27 times 35 gave us 945. And then you divide by the denominator, which is 100 in this case, right? So that's how we divided by 100. So if we look at question one today, what two numbers do I need to multiply? I'm going to multiply 25 by 44. So we can go through five times four is 20, and then four times two is eight, plus two is 10. Now that I've started a new line, I can kind of cross out my carried numbers from before. I start with a placeholder, four times five is 20, four times two is eight, plus two is 10. I don't know why they don't give you enough spaces for this. And then we have zero, zero, one, one. So our second step is to take our answer. We're going to take our answer, so 1100, and divide it by 100. So that will give us 11, because it's like getting rid of moving two decimal places over. Now for the so line, you're looking at the word. So 25% of 44 is 11. So you're starting with your percent, then what you're finding the percent of, and finally your answer. So try to make sure that sentence makes sense. Question number two is asking us to use this method that they're referring to as Sadie's method to find the percent. So we're going to go through one together, but they don't give us the structure for it. So we need to find 23% of 23. So our first step is to multiply the percent by the number. So 23 times 23. So if we look at this, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. We need a placeholder. 2 times 3 is 6, and then 2 times 2 is 4. We add it all up, we get 9, 12, and 5, so our answer is 529. Our second step is to take our answer and divide it by 100. So that means I move my decimal over two places, so that gives me 5.29. To write this answer as a sentence, we're then left with so... 23, and I got distracted, percent of 23 is 5.29. Question number three is another word problem, and they're asking you to find a percent of something in two ways. So they're asking you to find 35% of 40, the first way is using Sadie's way. So we've reviewed that twice, so I'll let you do that on your own. But for part two, they ask you to use the fact that 35% is 25% plus 10%. So 25% and 10% are slightly easier numbers to work with, right? They're a direct fraction of a number. 25% of 40 would be 10 because to find 25%, it's like we're dividing by four or finding a quarter. Now, 10% of 40 would be, would be four because to find 10%, it's the same as a 10th, so we divide by 10. Now, if we know that 25% is 10 and 10% is four, if we put those together, 35% of 40 would be 
14. So that is a different strategy to figure out that 35% of 40 is 14. You can use Sadie's method on your own to confirm that that is correct. I'm going to let you use your own learning and knowledge to answer the rest of, the, of part three and question four. If you have any questions, see me in class or ask from home to set up a little Zoom meeting or a video.